B-Dog Energy returns, and this is his second round back into golf after months without playing. Please keep that in mind throughout. Great shot! Oh, hey! Man, it's like you've been playing. Ooh. Okay, 179, what'd you got? 6 on. Okay, 6 on. We played Palm Hills together for his first round a few days before this. The same issue came up that was in Julian and Vlad's videos. Okay, reset. Reset, that's in the bunkers. On the right? Yeah. B-Dog was aligning way to the right on his shots. Dude, what a shot. Good. Great putt. Tap that in there, bro. Great pour. Unfortunately, players, I missed the drive, and it was a bad one to miss with the filming because absolute stunner he's hit you. Look at it. Even got a bit of rollout, which is not normal here. But that's B-Dog's drive. Absolute beast. Center cut. Okay, so it's 275. How much, what do you have on you? Four iron, two okay. hundred yards. Okay, I think off the deck you're probably gonna get about 180, so you're gonna leave yourself probably about a hundred yards shot in. Are you happy with that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, but we wanna set it up, because it looks like it's still dog legs a bit, right? Yeah. So we wanna see that sign in the middle of the fairway there. Yeah. Hit it to the tree directly behind it, to that tree trunk, okay? Cool. Four iron, 270 per. Pick that spot in front of the ball that lines up to that, huh? Yeah. Okay, reset. We're going at the right-hand side bunkers again. Yep, that's the one. We played Palm Hills together for his first round a few days before this. The same issue came up that was in Julian and Vlad's videos. B-Dog was aligning way to the right on his shots. Sometimes the body and club base were aiming 30 yards right. This triangular alignment sickness arrives during times of inactivity. We addressed it in this round. I'm not of the opinion that the body can align anywhere and the ball goes where your club is aiming. Your brain knows when things are not correct. It compensates and adapts to get the ball to the target and will automatically make body moves to somehow get the ball to start in the direction it's supposed to go. These compensations lose your distance and control. When you're properly aligned, it all falls into place like magic. Your brain just knows. Put it at the back. So six on. 176, yeah, six on. Six on. And you can go on this one you can go a few a couple yards left of the pin. Stop. How's it get? Bro, that is like twenty-five yards right, eh? <laughs> The caddy even could see it from the the caddy even could see it from the side <laughs> angle. He was like, uh, uh. Uh, stop, stop him immediately. Pick the spot in front of the ball, right? Yeah, and then line your body up to that, and that is so perfect right there. Uh, feet below is gonna be fun. No, no, no difference. <sighs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> yep, yep. Perfect shot. Sit. Sit. Okay. Now, that helps. Now, hang on though, because the thing is you're saying <laughs> ball above the feet should be fun. When you look at that, the pin's on the right hand side. Yeah. All the green you need is on the left. You just got shit in front of you and the pin. It's just two bunkers. You don't know what's there, but you can see left. Yours drew off the ball above the feet lie. Mm. Mm. 
which is perfect because we want it to go to the left. We don't want it to go to the right in case you leave it short and in the bunker. Great shot, in the hole, in the hole. Oh, that's a pass game. <laughs> Good shot, bro. Was I was I aiming right again? Yes, Queen. Hey. It's okay. The next one. Next one. We go to the next one. It's closer. The yeah. game inside wedge distance is something that abandons us when we don't play enough golf. We need to know our wedge distances. We need to know our carry for each wedge to successfully hit greens when we're in the wedge range. It doesn't matter which handicap you play at. This area of the game shaves strokes and mitigates mistakes like a bounce. B-Dog has a rough idea of his distances with the wedges, but just like me, a lot of work has gone into his swing and longer game, but the game within pitching wedge range is too vague and neglected. We'll keep count of where there are some simple Simon strokes that we can shave off in future. His strike is super solid with his wedges now, and the flight is sick, so that is a big positive. But these scoring clubs need to be semi-dialed to the correct distances to really turn you into a bouncy bounce. Why and how? One, okay. you can set up your distance to hit the green anytime. Two, you can stick the green to allow for a putt which is always makeable. Three, you can understand that with 20 yards behind a pin, that 90 yard shot to the flag can be a nice comfy 96 yard wedge that you know how to hit, leaving a four to 10 yard putt. Four, you build huge confidence knowing you can stick greens to rescue the score. That's a worker, baby. Perfect! Oh, yes! Oh, Get in the man. hole! Hi, buddy! Hey, hey, what a golfer! Good caddy. Good caddy. Okay, you have to remember that one. Tong Tong. What is that? Straight. <laughs> Head down forever, straight. Hey, what a par, bro. What a good caddy. <laughs> B-Dog was fitted poorly for his Cobra driver. It's a pity because it's a great club, but it really is the club and not B-Dog that is getting in the way of breaking 90. It's never performed the way he needed. Every club must be low effort and low stress, otherwise you're fighting your equipment. You've lost 90% of the battle if you do not love your club when you look down at it. This driver hurts his game a lot and puts him in non-advantageous places. Okay, B-Dog can clear that lip with anything, but he doesn't need to try a four iron and duff it, so he's gonna take the six iron, very comfortable shot. Straight up at that bunker in the distance, which is 220 yards away to reach. So he's all clear to go. And from there, we're going to probably have about a sandwich in, bro. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, alignment's great. Oh, what a Oi. good shot. Perfect. Happy with that. I don't know what's behind the pin, right? All I can see is the slope. And yeah. I would suggest, you see that tree there behind the pin? Yeah. The big one on the right? Mm -hmm. Aim it at that tree trunk because we can see there. We yeah. can see there. Am I going 80? 80, exactly. And that one tree trunk in the sun, you know? Yeah. Just the like fork. that. Yeah, 80, 80 yards is going to be brilliant. Yeah, but look, bro, like, what can you see here, right? I so can't I'm, see a thing. I don't know what's there. I'm going to walk it up, and we've never played yet, so... <laughs> Your second round back. I never played this course. But we can see what's on the right. 
So if you go right, you've got a putt, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. If you go at the pin and you don't catch it, we've got two bunkers in play. But I think you may be just a little long. Okay, so the pin's at the back. Tiny green. But we'll get it done. Slice, great shot, good caddy. Luckily, we got a good caddy here. Caddy, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, how's it bad? Oh, it's cool, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 158, what you got? Eight time. I like an eight, that's perfect. Now, this Mr. one, Rick, huh? Um, right side of you. Yeah, mm. yeah, wow, exactly. Nice. We think alike. Perfect, bro. Looking so good there. But wait, B Dog, come back. When you aim there, you're not looking at the pin. Mm, I'm looking you're at looking the You're looking at your landing spot, okay? Okay. Not bad. Little fattish, but good. A little fattish. Yeah, but look Very at did you fattish. see the did you see the direction? Oh, That's yeah. absolute perfection. No, I'm happy with it. Okay, so this is where the partial shot becomes unavoidable. You may chunk one, you may hit one fat. So now you've got like a partial 45 yard shot. The key is to get good at this. Get a club and just find your distance. Okay, that one's not slightly right. That's a lot. Yeah, there. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I know that one now. Tong tong. Beautiful five, bro. Beautiful five. Loving it. Good drive, good five. So we decided against the driver because the driver brings a whole lot of stuff in on the right. I don't like. We got two oh five to get to that bunk on the left. You're not going to go in it because we are going to aim. You see the bunker next to the green there on the right? Yeah. You're gonna aim at the right edge of that. Good. That's how, that's where it's going. Play this hole as if it's straight, straight through that bunker. Yeah, oh, I love it, love it. Looks good, bro. <laughs> oh, what a shot, man! <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> Love this game. That's a Zen marker. Nothing to do with that shot, but available. See, so players, sometimes you get your head full of nonsense, right? Like there's B Dog's ball. That's his purest money strike he can make. It's just, it's just the other side of these cart, these these cart tracks. Okay. Now look at that. He was worried about bringing this bunk into play. He hasn't reached that lip yet. The only place he could possibly have reached is if he pulled it left of that red stake. So if you're imagining cuckoo your own holes, you're going a bit cuckoo nuts, just stop and imagine a different hole. So he's imagining the hole dead at the pin. This, this bunk is in play, forget that. The hole in our mind went right over that sandy part there above the cart, you see there? We just imagined Thank that hole. Okay, okay. No! So now! Come on, baby! Come on! Oh. Caddy, no good! Caddy, no good! Oh, cool. oh. Much? 
Great shot. Ho -ho. Unlucky, but that was a damn fine shot from where he was. Good putt. Great putt. Great put. Great put. It's a club he should be able to hit because he's striking the irons pure and that is why you must go to the fitter who is not tied to any one brand. It's why I always say, take any club out of the bag if it's hurting you more than it's helping you. If you're struggling and the driver is losing you strokes, hit something else to set up the next shot from a decent place. If you have a bad hoodoo with the club, get another one. You'll never fall back into love with a driver once you have checked out of the relationship. It doesn't happen. Nice shot, baby. Good shot, babes. Good shot, honey. Darling, sorry, darling. Good job, T Rock. It's okay. It's okay. We have parangu. <laughs> so I'm just aiming straight at those rocks. So I won't reach. Uh, no, I wouldn't go at the rocks. I go at the white marker. On the on the right. There. Marker, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the right. Yeah, at the water. Where B-Dog has improved so much is the iron game. Look at that shot. This is so big. At one stage, he was hitting every single iron 120 yards. No joke. Dude. But then he said to himself that either he gets himself fixed properly or he gives up golf. And that's where a lot of people get with golf. B-Dog did what he had to and saw a coach, worked on the changes and that ability to drop the ego and change, plus the hard work to make the change is why he is ready to break 80 regularly. Head down forever. Come on! What a good caddy. Good caddy. Yeah, caddy. What a Great strike, brother. Hit it, win. Hit it, win. Perfect shot. Yep. Come on, stay up. Stay. Stay. Oh, good chip. Sit. Oh, it goes, eh? Unlucky. Yeah, I think it just came out a bit. Uh, a bit hot. A little bit speedy. A little hot. Beauty. That's your best. 
Bro, that's five handicap shots, bro. Perfect though, perfect. Just caught. Bite. Okay, that's fine. Slowly. 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 Just get in there. What a, what a touch. Nice shot. Perfect shot. Great shot. Oh yeah. Let's go with a little fader. Oh. 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 Too, too much fader. Same place. Join me. Oh, sorry. Sorry, pair. We're in skies. Mm. Always. Hey, wait, do another one. Uh, Hasip, Hasip Hawk. Me, Hasip Hawk, man. Same shot, 56. Just pitch it on the green. It's okay, that shot, but I think you could do better. When I saw I the was, pitching. I was between the two. I want you to land it over the, the fringe. Over the fringe. Yeah, I want it like, like 50 centimeters on the green. Same shot, just a little firmer. Because now you can have some assertiveness, right? Mm. Yeah, that's the shot. You see, you gotta use enough loft to be assertive and sure. Yeah. Like that's that's as good. <laughs> no, 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 par five, so driver. No, no, no. I don't. It's not. That, it's okay if you want to hit the driver, but the first thought should not be it's a par five driver because we've got only five hundred yards to go. Yeah. Do you want to hit the driver or do you want to hit the four? No, it's I'm up to four. you. I'm going to hit four. Okay. Do you love it? I love it. Then you're going to love it. But if you don't love it, you're going to hate it. There, you love Shot. it. You love it. Now let's do a driver. And then let's see. Because now you have no pressure. Good. Let's see how the driver goes. <clears throat> but I mean, when you love the shot like that much, that's your second best four iron up there. Maybe your best. I love my four iron. Jeez, man, it's nice to see you have a go-to cover. Yeah. 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 Love my four iron. You hit it at that, that tall, spindly tree, the top of that tree. That's your target. On that tree. So left of the front bunker. Yeah, yeah. There were the planes flying over... Now, okay. that tree, right at the top of that tree. Four iron 307. No need to smash, eh? We're gonna hit it in two more shots. Beautiful lineup. Do you want to know how B Dog and you? can break 80 on the regular if he sticks the green with these shots. He two putts for a par. Instead, he's pitching back onto the tight pin from the deep shizer. Please keep this mantra with you. Inside pitching wedge range, get it on the green. If you can accomplish this most of the time, you will break every scoring barrier in your sight. Resist the temptation to think one-dimensional thoughts. The game inside wedge distance is important, not as an island. The game inside 120 yards brings Big Richard energy in a way that a driver simply cannot. Yay! Your body understands contact and body moves through chipping and pitching. Your hands understand touch and club release through putting. Your confidence to get up and down after a botched approach is the 15th club in your bag. The short game energy filters up into the rest of the bag. The game inside 120 yards is the mistake mitigation HQ. If B Dog can dial in this shit right here, he's threatening the 70s pretty intensely. Three putts happen. Three putts are not deal breakers. 
they happen. The goal is to never three putt, but it will happen. Where you need to reel it in to score better is if you three putt more than twice around. If you're three and four putting regularly, then it's an issue beyond merely the greens. Most players who are good tee to green are good on the putting green. Most people will think it's because they are good from tee to green. They're good tee to green because they practice their short game. This is filter up golf economics. Less dispersion inside 20 yards means less dispersion inside 100 yards, which means less dispersion off the tee. B-Dog's main progress is getting out of his own head. He's used lessons and the driving range to understand he is more than capable. This is a big move towards single-figure golf. You need to get out of your own way. Stop sabotaging yourself. Stop watching crap videos about swing mechanics that don't even apply to you in the first place. Then in the second place, stop taking those mechanics and misunderstanding them and applying them wrong to an already misdiagnosed problem. B-Dog is free of nonsense now. He's cleared his mind, and this gave him confidence and self-belief and trust in the process. He accepted his tempo and realized he doesn't need to keep up with anyone. He forgot all the nonsense of watching people who swing different to him. He loves watching Freddie, Ernie, and the lazy swingers of the club. What a difference in mindset. Never let it be that you see the mental game as being aloof to blow up holes. No, it's decision making, it's commitment, it's understanding what you can do, what you can't. It's about being relaxed, it's about getting out of your own way. B-Dog is at the stage where he is so out of his own head that he can swing free and hit great, crisp, long and mid irons. B-Dog makes a great start to his return to golf. He showed his savage striking of the irons. He showed us his go-to club for iron, which he never had before. Legend. He found that it's time to let go of the terribly fitted Cobra driver. We discovered the wedge game needs dialing for distance control to stick some bonus greens. The positive aspect was the crisp striking and the stellar partial pitch shot execution. The touch around the greens and putting to convert the up and downs is something that will be easy to get back with some long awaited practice. He needs to acclimatize to the grainy greens because he is used to paspalum grass, which is a sticky, often low grass with no grain. Bermuda will play with your soul and tickle your raw exposed nerves with the grain and differing strains from one course to the next. I hope we can break 80 with B-Dog by the end of the next seven weeks. I think he can. We're going to work at it until we do.